Hey y'all, it's Betsy from Happily Ever After, etc. And I am back with another resin project. So today we are going to be making little resin light bulbs. They're Christmas lights, you guys. Like for a Christmas tree or for your front porch, except out of resin. Because why not? So I bought this mold. It was like $2 at Michael's. And I just, I thought it was so cute. And for $2, he wouldn't. Technically, it's a baking mold. But you guys, you can use anything silicone for resin, okay? It does not have to be a silicone mold. Now, not all baking molds are glossy inside. Some are matte, but this one is glossy. So it makes it really easy to use for resin. I am going to turn these little light bulbs into gift tags. But you can use them for just about anything. You are going to need your mold. Got really bright in here. Some resin. I used Amazing Clear Cast Resin as always. The little bottles are great for this, but I'll tell you a secret. What I usually do is keep a little mold like this around when I'm doing a bigger project, like the wreath for my front door or the Merry Christmas resin sign that I made. And then I just pour my excess resin instead of going to waste into a little mold like this. Makes it perfect. In this case, I did white Christmas lights, I did pink, and I did copper. And oh my god, the copper, this is the copper testers brand. It's oil-based paint. It looks amazing in resin. You're also going to need your respirator and your gloves. You guys, please, please, please be safe. Wear your safety equipment. Don't breathe in those fumes. Do this in a well-ventilated area. Don't do it around your pets. You're also going to need some cute things to put your gift tags on. So I went with one feather clip. I put pink light bulbs on this one and it turned out so cute. I'm like, could I not wear this in my hair? Like, I feel like a old tiny flapper girl. Maybe that's not what y'all are going for. I also got some white poinsettias. I'm obviously not using the whole poinsettia, but I just clipped some of the leaves off. You can see I bought two. I only ended up using one, but I just clipped some leaves off for one present. And then one present we clipped off. My mama did this. She's so smart. The berries in the middle and tucked it behind the bow. It turned out so cute. Like do that. And then of course I did grab some pine cone greenery that doesn't want to come out but that's okay these look super cute with two or three light bulbs so they're better for bigger packages whereas some of the other things are better for small packages which doesn't make sense because this feather is bigger than this greenery do whatever you like put feathers on everything Either way, the actual resin part of this project is super quick, super easy, totally beginner level. You definitely need a heat gun, I forgot that. There will be a full list of everything you need down below, so just click on the links, you guys. Just click on the links. If you're new at resin, you can make this project. They make adorable gift tags. They would make pretty cute ornaments as well. Either way, we're going to go ahead and get started. Let's jump right in, see what we make.
right y'all how absolutely cute did these light bulbs turn out so I was not sure when I made them exactly what they were gonna be at first I thought maybe ornaments right because they're like adorable little light bulbs and then I was like oh maybe earrings but they're way too big for earrings okay like if you're Luna Lovegood and you can rock an earring these would be adorable I have other things I like to rock so they turned out so cute and my mom was like Betsy make those into gift tags and you guys like that is the perfect gift tag, is it not? I absolutely love how these turned out. I really cannot wait to give them to people. <laughs> I've only wrapped five or six things so far, but I'm definitely going to be wrapping all of my presents with this this year, especially because I got a whole roll of this white craft paper for like 20 bucks, and I'm gonna be able to wrap presents in it for like 85 years. It's such, so much paper, so. Everyone's getting white craft paper presents with cute little light bulb bows. If you guys liked this project and if you're going to make it yourselves, I just have to throw out a quick PSA, public service announcement. Resin is adorable. It is beautiful. It is all the things. I am obsessed. You know who is not obsessed? Cinnamon. Her sister, Sugar, my kitty cat, Lily. Resin is toxic, toxic, toxic to puppies, to kitties, to people of all ages. You should not eat it. You should not let your pets eat it. So if you're planning to wrap presents and put them under a tree or where your babies can get them, don't put resin on them. No matter how cute it looks, it is not worth it. Is it? She said, but it looks delicious. It does look delicious, but it will hurt you. So. As much as I love it, as much as I want you to make these light bulbs, protect your fur babies, protect your real babies, protect your husbands, they'll eat anything. If you're putting it under a tree, put the resin light bulbs up high, send it to your friends who don't have little ones, or like me, just don't put them under the tree. Unfortunately, with my puppies, I haven't been able to put presents under the tree, resin or no resin, resin, resin or no resin in many years. So it's not a problem at my house. It's a problem at your house. Safety first. If you guys liked this project, if you want to see more resin projects, you want to see more Cricut projects, if you want to see more of my house, because I am obsessed, like, comment, subscribe. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, y'all.